Buenos dias, Gunners Collective TV. Back at it, you already know. Like a motherfucking smack addict. Bye. <laughs> Look, in a menudo style of direct fashion, as you can see, we're doing a moving and grooving today in the car, right? Um, had to jump in the truck, man. I got shit to do. I got to go get it detailed out. I got places to go and, and chicks to meet up with, right? So, you know, I wanted to talk about a video I seen yesterday. And, man, how times have changed shit was different right back then to comparing to what it is now man i didn't seen it all and heard it all already you know this i think was the straw that broke the fucking mr capone's back right because this one right here was um a little bit different and before i get into what i gotta say man hit that like and subscribe button put your notification bell on all and the reason why i say put your notification bell on all is because for some reason if you put it on personalized man youtube is not going to send out notifications and then you won't be abreast of, you know, the videos that I drop and others drop other, you know, others of your favorite content creators. So make sure you do that. And excuse me if my head is on swivel. I'm not trying to get my shit T-boned, right? So no diddy. Anyways, so trip out on this. Um, I was watching a, a interview conducted with Lefty Gunplay, right? And I know Dubs did a video this morning talking about what he had to say about WAC 100. And I... I stamp everything that Dub says, man. I feel the exact same way. So I've, I chose not to do a video on that particular subject just based on, I already told you guys how I felt about him and WAC 100 and how I feel about WAC 100 in particular and the way he, you know, says what he says and how I don't think necessarily he's disrespecting the raza, but he does say some crazy shit to kind of get, um, to stay in the loop, you know, to stay relevant. And, you know, he latches on to these certain uh, rappers and these certain individuals that got a buzz and he rides their wave, you know? And I mean, to each his own. If that's what Bubba Butt, Bubba Butt, Bubba Butt, Butt wants to do, then on Paro, <laughs> that's what he's gonna do, right? But, you know, I wanted to talk about another question that was posed to Lefty Gunplay. And uh, man, this one got so heated, Lefty came out the shirt. Lefty Gunplay started the interview with a jacket, a hoodie, a t-shirt. By the end of that, that motherfucker was buck naked damn near in there, right? I thought Brick Wolf was gonna come around the corner. It was bad. Um, but he got heated and he's feeling the heat. And the question that was asked is a question that continues to be asked. And I think will always be asked to lefty until he, uh, does something about it. Right. And it's unfortunate that he's put in that situation where he has to do something about it. But, and I don't think he necessarily does, but it is what it is. Anyways, he was asked, let me turn right here. He was asked if he had issues or, or, you know, what was his his mind state nowadays on the bands pull up, right? Bands pulling up to his vault or doing the diss uh, video or whatever. And he was asked about it, right? To which Lefty um, said he was pretty pissed, right? He was mad and I could understand that. And if you guys recall when the shit all went down, myself and Dubs, we listened to the video and we told you guys it was a hilarious video, it's funny. Bands did that shit, but at the same time, the one situation we thought that would that stood out amongst the rest that was pretty like, uh, man, that was too much, was the disrespect of Lefty's mother, right? I felt, and I'll speak for myself, I felt that she didn't deserve that. I felt, man, that was too petty going at it with the moms, but I also felt, man, when you disrespect another man, you know, all bets are off. The gloves are off. It is what it is. Motherfuckers are going to say what they say. Ain't nothing you can really do about it, right? Um, and so bands chose to disrespect Lefty Gunplay's mom, right? in that form and fashion and you know i always wondered like damn i wonder how lefty's feeling about that you know he has to go home and lay his head on that pillow he has to to be around his mother knowing that she's dissed and, and now it's up to i think a million people have watched the video it's crazy right and it would upset me so i'm sure it would upset him and he got a younger mentality so guys like that you know they don't that's like the ultimate disrespect. It's always been, you know, the, the mother disrespect is always the ultimate disrespect. That's the one thing that it gets shit popping. And so he, um, he addressed it and he said that, you know, um, that he was mad, man, that it was up that anytime he seen bands. So he started out the conversation and this is the whole gist of what I'm saying. He started off the conversation or the, the answer saying, yeah, he was fucking pissed. And if he seen bands, it was up, it was on right. Anytime that they seen each other, wherever they seen each other, if they were in close proximity, the same room, whatever, then it was on. And then he went on to say, man, I'm going to see this dude one day, you know, and, and, and the industry is small. It is. 
the last person you want to see is always the first person you're going to get. And that's the truth. So he's like, hey, I'm going to see this fool. I'm going to, I'm going to get at him, right? Whatever, that's cool. At the same time, as they continued the conversation, um, and you know, with Lefty, man, his interviews are all over the place. And it's not due to the interviewees. I thought that Negra and, and her husband did a great job. You know, I respect their get down. I respect their hustle and, and their platforms, right? Regardless of of uh, the active, non-active nature of shit and all that, man, it's always going to be that. You know, it is until it isn't. So I respect their get down. Facts. And Negra definitely asks some great questions, as well as her husband, Icon, right? So when they asked the Vothel about fucking um, that, he went on a rant, and like I said, he's all over the place. So with the lefty interview, it's kind of hard to to gauge what he's really feeling. But he went on to say, yeah, if I see bands, it's on a cracking, which is expected. He also pointed out that the disrespect of his mom is what fucking got him tripping, right? Then, he in the same breath, he kind of went on to say that he wanted Gold Toes to set it up and and he'll take 50k for the fight and this this and that now here's here's what i gotta say about that and this is this is all real right if i'm fucking upset because someone disrespected my mother or disrespected my family or anyone you know anything that makes me get to that point there ain't an amount of money in the world that's gonna make me fight you it just is what it is free of charge you can get these hands free of charge right and i'm not saying i'm trying to fight anyone i'm just saying that's the that should be the mentality you know like, hey, bro, you fucking passed the point of no return. Homes, it's time to get Mad Max and Thunderdome. No diddy, right? That's what it's supposed to be. But this guy went in the same breath from saying, if I see him, basically, he's on site. I got something to say to him. I got something to do. Um, And then went right into 50K for the fight. 50K to fight me. Like, look, bro, I don't know what's wrong with all these guys nowadays thinking they're worth anything to fight them. Oh, you're going to have to pay me. You're not Canelo. I say, calm down. Even Canelo wants too much money, right? These guys all want to get paid to fight. Look, it's not that serious. Obviously, your mother, your family, or whatever doesn't mean a whole lot to you if you're not tripping on that, really. That shows me that you're not really on that gangster time. You're not really tripping off that. That really didn't hurt your heart as much as it should have, you know, because basically, it's all about the feria. It's all about the money that's real life right that's that's what you're saying you know hey it's gonna take money to float my boat and i felt that that right there was odd you know i respect lefty gunplay i understand man and i don't care what anybody says i'm of the understanding that a lot of these can of worms that are open is because he opened them you know he disrespected the norteño cause and that dude bans first truth right um and and bans retaliated and it should have been there and that and that and there. That's it. Done. Right? Balto's disrespecting each other. Should have been over with. But for some reason, for whatever reason, it continued on. You know? And it continued on because people continue it on. They keep asking the questions. How does he feel? Well, obviously, we know how he feels now. He doesn't feel too disrespected. Because if he did, he would, you know, address that, let it lie, and just be like, hey, I'm not speaking on that no more. Balto's already know how I feel if you're in the game, then you already know what it is, man. You know, because you don't want to alert the authorities or alert anyone to what, you know, what, how temperamental you are, that the situation is really that serious. Then he went on to say, man, you know, when the band's whole situation popped off, that Valtos from the pen reached out to him and, you know, look and said, hey, don't trip, keep doing you, which was, of course, what I expected. That's, you know, motherfuckers in there know what it is, man. They're smart, right? Keep getting your money, keep doing you, bro. And it went on to say, oh, but my people are going to deal with it. Like, no, you got to deal with it, bro. You can't expect. See, that's the thing with people all the time. They're always expecting their people to deal with it. They're always tapping in with their homies or, or accepting phone calls from their homies. Talking about, no, as a man, you have to deal with it. That man disrespected you personally. Okay. Yeah, he might have disrespected your vodka by going over there and doing that video. And I can understand why they feel some type of way. But when you got vatos in the pen that are not from your neighborhood, um, feeling like that, man, it, it just trips me out, right? Trips me out that you would even allow that situation to escalate to the point where they have to feel they have to do with it. Because what are they going to think about you? You know, at first it's cool. Yeah, you go how to handle your homeboy's business. I used to do that. You have younger homeboys. Hey, bro, I got you. I mean, I'll take care of it. I got you. Then after a while, 
you question yourself, when the fuck is this Walter going to do something, man? Is he going to handle his business too? Or is he going to keep ex the expectation is going to be that other homeboys have to handle it for you all the time? You know, um, that's just true. You know, that $50,000 uh, uh, address will kind of threw me off there. Because how can you say, hey, man, yeah, I'm tripping. If I see you, it's on site, man. You disrespecting my mom's. Fuck what you're talking about, homie. You know, the video, cool, whatever, you know. I had a laugh or two, but when you went in on my mom, bro, that was different. And then say, but but call Goto's and tell them 50, and, 50 bands and security right there, and I'll be there to fight. Why, bro? Do you really think that, that you're, you're that much of a star that in order to get you in a room to handle your fucking business, they have to pay you? I don't think anyone in their right mind is going to give you $50,000 um, to fight you because you're mad at them for disrespecting your mom. <laughs> you know what I mean? It doesn't work that way in the real world. In the real world, bro, they don't give a fuck if you're mad or not. That's it. They, I mean, I'm just being honest. Like, And I'm not going in on Lefty at all, man, because I, I fuck with Lefty's music. I fuck with Lefty Gunplay, right? Um, in fact, I just chopped it up with a good homeboy, man, that, that actually knows Lefty and chops it up with them. It's crazy, right? Yeah, I know some of you are thinking, yeah, right, gun, you know everyone. Well, I do, right? I know a few people in the industry. And I let, I gave him a message yesterday, and this is a fucking 100% fact. I said, hey, bro, when you run into Lefty, which I know you will, just tell him I support him, bro. Tell him I said, what's up? And uh, I understand the politics and things, you know, why we can't fucking, you know, uh, uh, be in the same room at the same time for whatever reason, right? Not saying that I wouldn't be, but um, just tell him I send my man as uh, Rasa, I support him, right? I don't play that north and south, man. I support everyone. Um, but now, Lefty um, saying, oh, I'll take... And then and then this is a thing, too. This is one of the things that tripped me out. Was that these guys always got to fucking go and involve Gold Toes. Like, Gold Toes is the ambassador or the boss of the northern movement, right? That's not the truth, man. That's not facts. Gold Toes is a music producer trying to get a bag, man, and along the way has helped the Rasa at every corner and every turn, man. And you know, I'm gonna do a video here in the next couple of days addressing some shit with toes that I'm seeing from the northern side, right? That I think I addressed lightweight a while back, man, and then all of a sudden, it's crazy how some of these things that I see, it's like I can see the future. Then the shit starts happening. Then everyone's like, oh shit, but the gun seen it first, man. Um, a lot of the turmoil that's going on with the Northenian movement as far as Gold Toes is concerned, right? But, you know, to mention Gold Toes, like, hey, call Gold Toes and, and, and tell him to set it up. Like, nah, nah, bro. Hey, you can't be mad at one Northenian for being a Northenian, but not mad at the next, right? It's just the way it is. Um, and people are always involving Toes. Like, you know, what does that have to do with Gold Toes, man? If you want to see a dude and you want 50K... I mean, it's already put out there. Like, you're going to do the WAC 100 challenge, do the bands challenge. Put it out there. It is what it is. But, bro, he's at the point where bands don't want to fight you. You should want to fight bands. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? How are you going to make a motherfucker pay 50K to fight you when you're the one that's mad at him? Bands did what he did. He said if he seen you, if he seen you, it was up. It was going down, right? But you guys know damn well you're not going to see each other, bro. Stop it. I don't give a fuck how small the industry is. I don't care about none of that, right? You guys don't even roll in the same circles, and you're from two different fucking sides of California. So it ain't going to happen, man. You know, let's just get that out the way right now, right off the top. You know, and, and ain't no one in their right mind going to give you $50,000 to defend your mother's honor. You got to handle your own business, man. And I'm not saying Lefty wouldn't, and Lefty's not capable you know, and, 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 and here was the cold part, man. I thought this was funny. So if I'm going to go fight someone, it just is what it is. It could be just right there fucking at the corner. Shit pops off and, you know, you never know what the day brings. Um, or if you're seeking to go fight someone. But why is it nowadays that everybody wants to get in the ring? It always has to be like some structure type environment. Whatever happened to back in the days, hey, homie, meet me over here at fucking two o'clock, bro. Pull up. All right, fuck it. Let's go. Or you just see a fucking enemy on at the fucking store and, hey, homes, when we get outside, it's on. Or you crack them right there in aisle nine, right? Blue light special. Kmart. I, you know, Lefty was asked, hey, would you fight him? And this Valta said, man, I'll fucking, let me get off drugs. <laughs> this is exactly what he said. Let me get off drugs. Let me work out a little bit. And then I'll beat Ban's ass, right? Bro, when, when did timeout start? When the fuck did timeout start? When do you have to train to catch a fade? When do you say, 
hey bro i'm gonna get at you uh yeah yeah we can fight and shit bro but wait up let me go buy those new air force ones because bro i won them in the raffle and i gotta go get those fast before they sell out you know and then uh, and then we'll get back to this fight like when are you gonna take time when has it been cool to take time outs to fight that's some old different shit nowadays right <laughs> i don't know man you know look it I fucks with lefty gunplay, but some of that shit he said was kind of wild, man. And that just shows the mentality of where people are at. Ain't no one trying to fight. Ain't no one trying to do all that, man. Let's just keep it real. We're rasa. We should stop this bullshit, this frivolousness, this fucking going at it. Yes, that dude bans on some man shit did disrespect lefty's mom. I didn't think that was cool. A lot of people didn't think that was cool, but it happened, right? And if you're fucking mad, you're mad. You deal with it. You don't get other homeboys from prison to deal with it. You don't get people fucking with different mentalities because, you know, at the end of the day, what always happens with this bullshit, two men start it and other men get hurt. That's the truth. That's how it's always been in life, man. You know, because there's those that don't fucking play. They're on some street shit, street mentality. Damn, I ended up in the ghetto like a motherfucker. They're going to start trying to sell me rocks over here where I'm at. <laughs> I ain't never been down this street. Anyways, um... That's the truth, man. That's how I felt about it. Like, bro, there is no times for timeouts. You're either going to fight the Vata because he disrespected your mom or you're simply not. But all these guys nowadays, A, hey, pay me 10 bands to fight. Pay me 50 bands to fight. Pay me this. Motherfucker, no one's going to pay you to fight. You are not Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, okay? You're a fucking rapper, bro. Go in the booth and make some money. You know, and that's just what it is, man. I... I could sit here and I could rant all day about the shit, but at the end of the day, wait, there's a gang of traffic right here. At the end of the day, bro, th the mentality is this, you know, if you're a real gangster, like, you know, Lefty says it, I'm not, I'm not fucking, fuck this rap shit, I'm a gang member, right? Then you should already know what it is, bro. Why is it keep constantly taking people, um, gotta lace you up on some shit? Like, serio, you know, and then to put out there, oh, I gotta get off drugs first. And then I could get up. Bro, take your ass to the 12-step program, do the serenity prayer set, and fucking come back fucking as Floyd Mayweather, right? Whatever you got to do, whatever it's going to take, do some push-ups. And if you want, I could I could absolutely send a homeboy to give to you a workout program, you know? Because by the looks of it, you're not really on your shit like you should be. You should always be on point, you know? And, and, and that's what it is, man. Stay physically fit, health as well. Anyways, with that being said, I just wanted to throw that out there. There's my Saturday spill for the day, man. Um, we're cruising. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go uh, get a few things. I'm pulling up to the spot real quick. Give me a little outfit for the weekend, you know, um, and do what I does. Uh, shout out to everyone out there, man. I hope you guys have a productive weekend. And again, man, I support Lefty, but hey, sometimes it's tough love. Sometimes you just got to tell him, motherfucker, like, damn, bro. Come on now, Mr. Timeout. I'm going to start calling him Lefty Timeout Gunplay. Yeah, bro, I need a timeout so I can get ready for the fight. Bro, you need to get ready for Bands? You better stop it, bro. He said, I'll beat Bands' ass. I know, we all say that, right? I'll beat this guy's ass, I'll beat that guy's ass. The guys who's hollering the most that he'll beat ass is usually the one that gets his ass beat. I've learned that the hard way. With that being said, I hope that you guys move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming. And remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the strive to struggle, the struggle to strive. I will be dropping more videos later on today. Um, but I got to get out and about early, man. The early bird catches the worm, you know, if you want to give her your worm. And if you're working with a worm, she ain't going to want it. You know what I mean? You got to go anaconda on it. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, struggle, and strive for what I honestly and truly believe in. And that's the betterment of all the hinting, man. Thank you, guys, man. Hey, don't sleep on lefty, though. You never know. They might call him lefty because he got a good left. You know what I mean? After he gets off the dope, though. The gun. <laughs>